I'm standing in line at uh, the world's largest coffee business, Starbucks. It's 2008 when the economy just took a dump. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, how can I help people when the economy is just dying? And, like, what am I going to do? I'm just standing there in line. And I'm like, wait a minute. There's a line here. I'm like, wait a minute. People are not going to stop drinking coffee no matter how bad the economy gets. So, I decided at that point that's what I wanted to do. Workout Wednesday. Wednesday, uh, eat. If, if, you, if you feel like crap, if, you, if you're ever like just overweight and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you don't feel good, work out. You, you get some endorphins going, you start feeling better, and you, 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 you can, I mean, things happen. And the minute you start feeling better, it's like you can accomplish things. If I can just inspire somebody to work out, like if it takes a free coffee to get somebody to do some push-ups. I mean, there, there's a guy uh, who did it for his daughter. She uh, drinks uh, tea. So uh, in the summertime, I was doing uh, free black ice teas. This guy has not worked out uh, in his whole life, but did 22 push-ups. So workout Wednesday is like, if you feel like shit, work out. Start working out and your life will turn around. So that's that's kind of where Workout Wednesday came from. You work out, you feel better. And uh, you know, you're in you're in control. So I just try to inspire people to work out. And we're making Boston a better place right there. That's my goal to make Boston a better place and then take this goal and continue to spread it out.